Tiny Towns from AEG is the bell of the ball. But did we like it? Let's talk about it. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube. We're back again today for another Thoughts from the Corner with my good friends Ronnie and Adam. Hello. And we're talking about Tiny Towns from AEG. This is for one to six players. Ages 14 plus. They get 45 minutes to play. This is our first impressions after trying out this game. I'll do a more thorough review a little bit later, but in Tiny Towns, it's a really dirt simple game. Everybody's gonna start with one of these little boards right here, in which you're gonna be placing things. Then there's gonna be a certain number of cards set out in the middle, I think it's like seven, and they all have different backs on it. Honestly, there's a 10 minute Rodney Smith how to play video. It's fantastically done. I'll be up and running in no time at all. Highly recommend that one. Not to say the rules were bad. I was able to find everything I needed to when I wanted to, but you're gonna have these set out in the middle. These are all going to be different buildings buildings that will have different special abilities, different scoring conditions, different special powers they'll give your city, and different ways to build them. So in order to build this one, I have to have a blue square, a blue square, a brown square, and a yellow square in that position, or flip it around any way you want it. Once I do that, I will then be able to successfully build this building by placing one of these uh, nice wooden chunky pieces on there onto my thing, which now that spot is completely blocked, but I now have a cool special ability which might score me points at the end of the game. And on your turn, it is insanely simple. All you're gonna do, you just take one colored cube. Because once again, these colored cubes are how you're gonna build buildings. You take that colored cube and everyone else at the table also takes that colored cube and simultaneously you all place your cube. And then if you wanna build something, you build one of the buildings. And the next player goes and they do the exact same thing. They take a cube, then everybody takes the cube, you build stuff, then the next player does the exact same thing. And you do that until everyone has completely filled up their board. And that's the basic gameplay. Like, honestly, stupidly simple. I thought this was going to be much more complex than it was. But what are our initial thoughts on this game? Also, fair warning, have not tried out the solo, so cannot comment on that. But I do hope to play this one solo in the future. But who wants to start on their thoughts with Tiny Towns? Uh, well, I I definitely liked it. Um, I, I do want to play it again. I would pr probably even buy it eventually. Um I liked it quite a lot. It looked like there was a good amount of var variability between games. Even I've only played the one game, but it was interesting, and I definitely liked it. Yeah, I think it's uh, good to note there are 25, so there's like, what, uh, 40 cards in there or something like that, and you're only using seven. So yeah, I definitely think that there's a huge chunk of variability that you're going to have uh, from game to game to game. What do you think, Jeff? Thousands of permutations. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I... Did, I felt like I got pigeonholed at one point, yeah, but I hope someone didn't cheat. Yeah, well, yeah, there's Happens. that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I did enjoy that. Like, at one point, I knew that things weren't going wrong, well, and that I could just end my game. Right? <laughs> like, you can just get out. You can be like, I I know that that uh, a grid pattern of <laughs> yellow and blue cubes is not going to win this. Over. <laughs> so, and it does not affect gameplay at all. It does not. It, it, it does, I'm mean, sure someone might argue that, like, oh, but so, you were going to take I mean, extra blues or something. But no, I agree. Yeah, so anybody that can, that's like, I don't know about this game, you'd be like, ah, just try it for a little while. Put See that how you like on it. the box. And they can just, like, get out. Like, so how many games have we played that someone hated it, and a they lot. were like, you're stuck here. Ah. For an hour, two hours, right? whatever. But I, I did enjoy it. I thought that uh, the, it was fun. The cards were fun, and I read through some of the other ones. And, like, there's lots of variability in what they do and how they interact together. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was interesting the way that you were slowly, like, getting uh, a smaller and smaller space that you could build things in. And some of the cards, you're like, oh, yeah, it only needs, like, five cubes. But you realize five cubes is huge on your map. Yeah. You know, so like you're, you're trying to plan out your big stuff first and then your small stuff later, but that doesn't always fit into how you need to set them up. It was a, it was a good puzzler. I agree. I, and I don't think this is typically my style game. I'm not the biggest puzzly style gamer, uh, but I really enjoyed this. Like this one is, is going into my collection. If they come out with expansions, I absolutely want to. I'm excited to play it solo. It's, uh, Teaching it, again, I think it's going to be very, very simple. I think I could teach this to my nine-year-old. It says age is 14 plus. But I think as long as you do a good job explaining the cards that are out, I think you could definitely do that. Um, and yeah, I, I honestly don't really have too many negatives that I have about this game. I think component-wise, the great components, the boards were thick. These little pieces are chunky. They give you enough, enough bags that you could probably start your own drug trade. 
I mean, it's, <laughs> it was a ridiculous amount of bags. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't have any. I don't have any real. I wish layers. the blocks were a little bigger. Really? Personally, I yeah. seem. I mean, slightly when bigger than standard. When they're on the map, though, I'm like, eh, it's a tiny little box. And Maybe we need smaller boards. Thing. Maybe that would work too. <laughs> Let's downgrade the components. That's well, I mean, yeah, you could have it in a smaller box. It's more com uh, portable. I think it's always a good thing when I'm really struggling for comms. And, and, like, we didn't even talk about this. Like, there's different ways that you can make it even more variable yeah, aside from the, the car. Like, the these box. replace... They, I don't know. You'd have to read the rules. But there's... <laughs> no, there's there's an alternate way to play. And it didn't just look like, you know, a paragraph. Like, oh, you can just yeah, tweak yeah. the end game scoring. It was like it was like a big chunk of, like, oh, this might be a way that you actually want to try and play the game. It's like it's all it's all in a separate page. It's got solo. It goes up to six players. I don't think it outstays its welcome, especially because you can, as you put it, commit, you know, a board game. You just, I'm not saying that. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. But you can essentially get out of the game, which is a really interesting pro. But, yeah, I don't. And it's kind of weird because you wouldn't think there's player interaction in this game, but there really is. Oh, yeah. Like, the, the really, like, because... You look at people's As boards, you're watching yeah. them. Yeah, and... Because like, really what you want to try to do is you want to use... Uh, you want colors to come out that's good for you and bad for others. So you... And you think about that from, like, the beginning going on. So you're like, okay, so what what can I do that make that uh, is good for me and then screw someone else over? I want to want... emphasize one thing real quick. You think of that, and I imagine you yeah. do. I don't think everyone does. I think there's going to be a lot of people who are just, like, completely invested into their own board... But I think if, if you do that, you're probably going well, yeah, to If you've got one of me in the game, then you're going to get some cubes you don't want. I would yeah. think an, an interesting <laughs> strategy would be just copy exactly what someone else is doing. <laughs> just exactly like, I'm going to put that in the exact same spot. Put them every, there. You could every <laughs> single time. You could, except for the monument. You oh, couldn't yeah. build the same monument. And yeah, the monuments, that's not something we didn't even but mention, which know, adds more man. variability as well. Everyone, yeah, we didn't even mention this. Everyone's also going to get two... Uh, of their own special cards at the beginning of the game when you can put out your monument they'll give you different ways to score points and at the end of the day i mean i don't i don't foresee too many people disliking this game honestly yeah. like i think i imagine this one i think most people would put it in the good to great category yeah, i feel like it's a mildly stressful game like at, well it Alan can at the be. end there got a little stressed you i mean you yeah. won it out of the game <laughs> well it's just because it was clear that it was not going my way I, I i think that's a great point it can be especially when you're like oh what do i do with this and it's like you just sit there like ah there's and, and there might just be nothing good to do with it mm -hmm. um but yeah. overall i always ask this question i don't know always most of the time if i handed this to you would you want it? Yeah. would it make your collection easily yeah, I take it i would yeah. easily take it would you buy it at 60 dollars well, see, I would like to play it at least one more time. Yeah, I think that's uh, But I, 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 it would be likely that I would buy it. You would think it. about yeah. it, though. And that, I mean, that's saying something, because there's somewhere you'd be like, hell no, I'm not paying 60 bucks for this crap. <laughs> it does uh, seem like a yeah, lot. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, all of this would, like, like, all of these are, they, there's they're tons. Custom. And if they're it was gorgeous. $30, I'd definitely buy yeah. it. Oh, yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, at the end of the day, Tiny Towns, we all enjoyed it. It's going into my collection. You can probably expect a solo gameplay video coming soon. And I'm excited for expansions. Like, this one would honestly be, if they were like, next year, Origins Gen Con expansion came out, I think this one would be like, yeah, I, I want to see what they add more. See if it's just more cards or if it's potentially more mechanisms, maybe a bigger board, maybe, you know, obviously, a different color cards. There's, There's so much variability already, though. Yeah, but I'm saying I would just be extra excited if there was more. I, th I think that that expansion you wouldn't play because there's so much variability in the base game. No, it's, well, if it's more cards, you're just going to throw them in there. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, we all like the game. Yeah. Good game. Yeah. Tiny Towns from AG. If it looks like it might be a cup of tea, check this one out. Also, if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click on the subscribe button to try to reach 15,000 subscribers to celebrate the Queen of England passing. And as always, <laughs> thanks for your time. <laughs> to celebrate? <laughs> This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters, and I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month, and as always, thanks for stopping by.